Hi, Sam here with Batch Stoves. And as you can imagine, I get a lot of questions pertaining to alcohol stoves, alcohol stove use, uh, different type uh, meals you can cook with alcohol stoves, and just varying different questions pertaining to uh, cooking with alcohol stoves, baking, and alcohol stoves. So, one of the questions I get is about um, cooking rice, and I've gotten this question several times over the years, and I just never have done a video on cooking rice. Uh, it's one of my favorite dishes when I'm out on the trail. You can add chicken to it, you can add tuna to it, uh, you can add seasoning to it, and it's very fulfilling. Uh, it's nice and warm. So, today I thought I would do a video on just cooking some rice. And you can add whatever you want to the rice, and maybe I'll do it later. I'll do a video on uh, some different recipes that I use for cooking rice. So what we have is we have the BS 1.1 alcohol stove. Uh, now one thing with cooking rice, you do need the ability to simmer in order to cook rice. The preferred method for me is to just let it cook as you would at home which is bring to the water to a boil and then let it simmer for about 25 minutes. So the BS 1.1 has the ability to simmer and so we're going to be using that stove. Uh, I am using heat which is 99% methanol and we have one ounce here. Let me get the stove going. Right, and I'm going to be using my 12 centimeter uh, cook pot. I have one out, oh, excuse me, one cup of water. If you can see that there, one cup of water. I'm just going to go ahead and put that onto the stove. Make sure it's centered up. There we go. Make sure the stove's on. Let me check it. Okay, yeah, the stove did. It did not light. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Now it's lit. Alright, so let's put the Put this to a uh, pot on. Okay. And I'll start a timer. I'll come back and check this. It's probably going to take, um, about three and a half, four minutes to get this one cup of water up to boiling. And what I want to do is about the three minute mark, I want to turn the stove down uh, because there'll be some residual heat left, output left in the stove and that will continue to bring the water up to boiling. Uh, but also cooling the stove down because you want to get it cooled down in order for it to simmer. So I'll come back and check on it in about two or three minutes and we'll get the uh, stove up to temp. I mean, excuse me, the water up to temp, and then we'll add the rice. I want to show you what type of flame pattern we have underneath the stove here. This is on high. And you can actually hear it, the stove going. And I'm not using a windscreen here. Normally, I do not use a windscreen uh, with this stove when I'm out in the uh, on the trail because the stove I want it to simmer. Uh, 
the wind helps keep the flame and the temperature of the stove down a little bit so it actually works to your advantage not to have a windscreen of course if the wind is extremely you know if the wind's blowing pretty good then uh, you know I will use my carbon felt windscreen but I, I'll still put it on in a in a real loose fashion so that it blocks some of the wind but it's not preventing the stove from running the low temperature So like I said, I'm going to bring this water up to uh, a boil and I want to add the rice. And I'm going to go ahead, it's about three and a half minute, four minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove down because I can hear the stove making some noise and I'm gonna go ahead when you hear that stove this particular stove when you hear it start making that kind of sound it's fixing to boil and by going ahead and turning it down it will allow the stove to cool down quicker and get to a simmer so what I have here is just a half a cup of regular white rice uh, there's some olive oil in here um, and I usually pack this in like a ziploc bag okay we're boiling already so And then let's give that a stir and bring a spoon here. Give that a stir. But yeah, I usually just pack this, prepackage this into Ziploc bags. It works out real well that way. And just basically cook it the way I would at home. So now I'll just sit that on there and let it simmer for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and it should be good to go. So we'll come back and check on it in a little while. I'll show you what the flame pattern is for the stove on low, and then we'll come back and check when it's done. Okay, so we're about uh, nine minutes in here see what kind of uh, flame pattern we have here it's much lower and I'm indoors here but if I was it's in outside it would actually be a little bit um, lower temp which would be better um, it would kind of blow the flame around a little bit and keep it a uh, little lower temps but we should be good we should be good like that and uh, I'm gonna let this go and then uh, I just stirred it that's another thing I started about halfway and we'll come back and check on it and about the 20 minute mark so we're coming we're on the 20 minute mark here now let's check it and see where we're at okay it's still got a lot of liquid in there but let me just try some of the rice that's not overcooked that's actually that's about right right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, We'll take this off the stove, we'll let it sit for a minute, and uh, put this stove out. Now, <clears throat> if there's not a lot of residual fuel left in there, you can blow the stove out, but if, if it still has a good bit of fuel left in it, then you'll have to smother it. So let's give it a shot. Okay, that's not going to blow out. So to smother it out, what I have is just the bottom of a soda can that I just cut out and I just slide over the top and that will smother the stove and put it out and your rice if it's not quite done yet when you take it off if you just let it sit it will continue to there's still a lot of residual steam and stuff in there and moisture and it will continue to cook when you take it off but you don't want to leave it on too long because you don't want it to burn or stick once all the water is completely gone uh, and there's no steam or nothing left in there it will start to stick 
So. Right there is really good. Let me show you. And it's uh it's just right. It's cooked just right. It's not not too soft. And uh it's not none of the that spoonful I had was not at all hard at any spot, so let me uh, put it on this plate and uh, show you. Whew, I got up. These uh, carbon felt windscreens come in handy for a lot of different tasks, as you can see. They're, they're great. Uh, around camp So you can see the inside of the pot. There is some residual starch left in the bottom of there. Uh, you can throw some water in there and that'll come right out. Uh, that was just a paper towel. You can get most of it out, but a little water and that'll, like I said, that'll come right out. So here's your just plain rice and uh, As you can see, it turned out really well. So there you have it, just plain rice, and then uh, you can add whatever you want to it, and it makes for a great meal. So I'm Sam at Batch Stoves. Thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and stop by and visit us at www.batchstoves.com.